but it says find the distance between the points 8, negative 3 and negative 2, comma 6. 8, negative 3 and negative 2, comma 6. Now, when we find the distance between two points, does it matter which point we declare to be the first point and which point to be the second point? No. The distance from A to B is the same from B to A. Okay? So because of that, just for argument's sake, we'll just call this X sub 1, Y sub 1, and X sub 2, Y sub 2. So then what do we do with these four numbers and that formula? Plug it in. So D would be the square root of the difference of the X's squared plus the difference of the Y's squared. Please notice when working with negatives, you should consider using parentheses as needed. What is negative 2 minus 8 quantity squared? Plus, what is 6 minus negative 3 quantity squared? What is 100 plus 81 in most countries? 181 does not have any perfect squares, I don't think. So we just leave it alone, square root of 181. Find the midpoint between the same points, 8, negative 3, and negative 2, 6. Oh, bad Mike. What were you doing? That's better. Okay. All right, you move there. Thank you. Again, it does not matter which point is declared to be the first point, which point is declared to be the second point. So just like before, to find the midpoint, plug it in. So we're going to add up the x's, divide by 2, add up the y's, divide by 2. If we added up the x's and divide by 2, what's the x-coordinate of our midpoint? 3. And what's the y-coordinate of our midpoint? Yeah. 3 halves. Just so you know, I prefer, uh, prefer fractions over decimals. Three halves is not a bad fraction because it's a, uh, it's not a bad decimal because it terminates. But most likely, please give back fractions. All right. Okay. Theoretical question. It's your first one. Here it comes. What's the distance between three three halves and negative 2, 6 without doing any math. No formulas. What's the distance between 3, 3 halves and negative 2, 6? Bam! Yeah, if the entire distance between the two points is the square root of 181 and 3, 3 halves is halfway between, then it must be half the distance, square root of 181 over 2. Yay, I like to ask questions, especially on a test, where one problem relates to another problem. Um, it does cause problems, because if the first problem is bad, there goes the second one. So in general, just don't make mistakes, and everything will be fine. <laughs>